Hello and welcome to my Rook Operator Guide. Now Rook is a GIGN defensive operator. He can equip the P90 submachine gun, the MP5 submachine gun, or the SGCQB shotgun as his primary weapons. Now I prefer the P90 for its high fire and larger magazine, but the MP5 is also a great recommendation since it's easier to control. The SGCQB isn't really that bad either if you prefer shotguns. Honestly, all his primaries are good, it just really depends on your playstyle. If you prefer a large mag with high rate of fire, choose the P90. If you like a submachine gun but you want something easier to control and better at longer distances, take the MP5. And if you like to shut people down with one or two shotgun shells, take the SGCQB. Now, for secondaries, we can equip the LFP586, I think that's right, revolver and the P9 handgun. In my opinion, you should take the revolver if you want more stopping power, if you want to be able to kill people quicker, or the P9 if you like larger magazines since the revolver only holds six, round, six rounds and the P9 holds uh, much more than that. Now his secondary gadgets are the deployable shield or the barbed wire. Now this choice depends on your playstyle. Now since Rook is a very flexible character, he can make both a great objective defender or a great roamer. And now if you prefer to ro roam, grab the barbed wire since you can just let, you know, set that down pretty quickly. And the deployable shield is really meant for people trying to stay in one spot and defend. And if you're trying to roam around, that kind of makes you not need the shield at all. But if you want to defend the objective, take the shield to provide some extra cover. Because that's always good. Now, finally, get to Rook's special ability. Now, Rook is not a really complex character when it comes to his ability, okay? All he has to do is drop his armor pack, which that's his ability, at the start of every round and make sure that every single one of his teammates picks it up, okay? That makes him one of the easiest operator to play as if you're new to Siege and you just don't want to like overcomplicate things with the uh, object with the um, operators that have more uh, complex abilities. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this also what is what makes Rook a great roamer, since all he has to do is drop it and then he's free to play the round as normal as he really wants to as like any other shooter really now this means he's excellent at securing trapdoors above the objective area the only problem with that he's a bit slow which is that's really a downside to his roaming as him as well he's not as fast as some of the other defensive operators like my personal favorite bandit or jaeger okay now let's get back to the armor pack we need to focus that thing okay now the hardest thing about the armor pack is making sure all your teammates pick it up okay there are usually one or two people that don't see it or just go roaming too soon and don't pick it up. Now this is bad because if an enemy finds the armor pack on the ground, they can actually pick it up as well, and that divides them or that provides them with a defensive bonus that you don't want your enemy to have. Because why would you want your enemy to have more armor? Okay, that's common sense. Uh, the armor pack also like what it does statistically is it adds a little bit more defense you'll be able to take on average one extra bullet now this does sound kind of useless I'm not, I'm not gonna lie it does sound a little bit useless like oh one bullet but when you actually look at it one bullet can decide the difference in a firefight between you dying or your enemy dying now I can think of many times where I've been saved because I'll have like two or three health left because I picked up the armor pack and it provided me with enough defense to take that one extra bullet that uh in the time I needed to kill someone else so it's very useful and plus it's extra defense so why not pick it up I mean you can hold down X or uh, let me see square or E or F or whichever key they use on PC for like two seconds okay it's not that it doesn't take that long and there's no harm in doing it anyways uh, the armor also increases the chances you'll go down but not die. That means you'll just go down into the state where you crawl around and you have a little plus on your on your screen. Which is uh, is great because you don't die and your teammates can uh, pick you up. Now this means that Rook will combo excellently with Doc. Since if you go down and uh, not die, Doc can shoot you with his uh, stim, stim pistol. I believe that's what it's called, stim pistol, and just pick you right up at range. And he doesn't have to risk himself dying. Now, um, there really isn't any particular counter since Rook's ability is so simple, I'm gonna say. So, really, anyone with a gun can counter him pretty easily. Uh, now, to summarize, all of Rook's weapons have a merit and just really depends on your playstyle. 
When playing as Rook, you need to drop the horn pack at the very start of the round and make sure your entire team picks it up so the enemy doesn't have the chance to steal it. Okay? Rook is very flexible. He can be a great defender or a great roamer. It just really depends, once again, on your playstyle. But note that Rook moves slower than some of the other operators, which might make you reconsider roaming. Okay, because he does move slower than some of the operators, like I uh, mentioned before. His armor plating lets you take one extra bullet and increases your chance of going down and not dying, which is excellent. And Rook is an excellent operator for players that are new to Siege and new to the operator system. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe for more awesome Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm the Battle Moon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.